What is going on guys, it's Modded Warfare here, welcome back to another PS5 video. So I've got a pretty quick video for you guys today, covering another interesting thing. So I saw this a few days ago on Twitter by somebody called Michael Kemp. I'm not sure if he's the first person to discover this, but that's where I find out about it from anyway. So credit to him. So of course, what I'm talking about here is the ability to run PS4 games that are not officially supported on the PS5. As you can see here with this error message, that says this PS4 game is not compatible with the PS5, that is actually not necessarily true. There's just a whitelist that's added somewhere on the PS5's hard drive that contains all the titles, all the PS4 title IDs of all the PS4 games that are actually permitted to run on the PS5. So all you need to do is add the title IDs of any PS4 app that is not currently compatible and then it will allow it to run. So you can see that PT has this error message here, but after I do this change, you can see that PT now shows up without the error message. Now it's still locked for me because I don't have the license file to run the game. But if you do have the license file for PT linked to your PS4 or PS5 account, then you will be able to actually run the game. So you can do this with any PS4 app that has that error message. Obviously there might be a good reason why some of them are not permitted to run on the PS5 due to compatibility issues. However, most of them seem to be the only reason is that, you know, there may be game demos, uh, that were never made into real games so there was no point in you know making them backwards compatible or they were removed from the PSN store and for whatever reason they just weren't added to the whitelist whereas you can just whitelist the title yourself and allow it to run. So that's what we're going to take a look at here in this video. It's a very simple thing to do as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is get FTP up and running on my system. So I'm just going to go into my notifications and launch the exploit directly from a notification. If you don't know how to do that, then I covered it in a previous video. I'll have it linked in the description and in the cards in the top right hand corner. Of course, you can use the user guide method as well. So we're just going to go ahead and get the exploit loaded here. Now you can use the Blu-ray disc FTP as well. There's either one will work, whether you want to use Spectre's FTP or you want to use the Blu-ray disc FTP with Slayer's Gorvi's exploit. Either one will work, but obviously Spectre's one's easier to set up and more stable. So it's going to run more successfully most of the time. So from here, we're going to switch on over to the computer and we're going to open a payload injector like Netcat GUI or any other payload injector for the PS4. And we're going to drag in the ELF file, the FTP ELF file, which again will be linked in the description. And then we're just going to hit inject payload. And when we click that, you can see we get a notification that pops up on the PS5. And then from there, we're going to run an FTP client like FileZilla and then just connect up to our PS5 via its IP address, which in my case is this IP right here and port 1337. So what we're going to do is we're just going to head to the root directory. And then from there, we're going to go to a particular location. So we need to go into the MNT folder. Then we need to go into the sandbox folder and then NPXS 440,000. So NPSX 40000. We're going to go in there. Then we're going to go into this folder here that has a bunch of different, um, you know, like letters and numbers. It will be different. Uh, it will, it'll probably be a different uh, letter and number combination for you. So just look for the folder that looks out of place like like this. And we're going to go in there and then we're going to go into the PRIV folder. And then we're going to scroll down to PS4 app category. And we're, go we're going to open this up. Now you can see there's already a file in here. If you don't already have a file in here, it's not really a big deal because you can just go once again, Jose Gonzalez has got you covered because if we go down here somewhere, where is it? Here we go. So Jose Gonzalez released a version of this NP PS4 app category file and he's already added all the PS4 games to the list. So you can just download this and put it in this folder on your PS5's hard drive, even if you don't already have a file in here and it should theoretically work. Uh, and allow pretty much all PS4 games to run. So yeah, you can use that if you want, but we're going to take a little look at it here, the one that's already in here. So I'm going to copy this one out to my desktop and open it up. It's just a regular text document. And as you can see, it contains the title IDs of many, many, many PS4 games. So all of these are games that are supported that will run on the PS5. Any title IDs that are not in here, any PS4 title IDs that are not in here, are not going to run on the PS5 and you're going to get that error message that I got with PT. So in order to actually add PT back in here as a as a usable app, we can just control F to find and then search for the title ID. So this is the title ID of PT. So if I search for it here, you can see it cannot find it. So it's not added to the list. 
But if I try, say, CUSA 01126 instead of 27, and we search for that, you can see it does find that. So we've got 24, 26, and then it goes to 29. So 27 and 28 are not in there. So we can just add it back. So we'll just do CUSA uh, 01127. So that adds PT in there, and then we can save it. We can copy this file back over, click OK. And now if we switch back over to the PS5 again, and we head back to our homepage, and we go and look at PT, you can see the error message has gone. We no longer have that background. We have the proper PT background showing up, and it does not give us the error message saying it's not compatible with the PS5. It is clearly compatible with the PS5. Now, yes, it's not going to run. Why? Because, of course, we do not have the license file for it. You know, this account is a local account. You know, I've never connected this account to a profile. This, this PS5 has never been online. It's never been connected to PSN, and I don't even have pt licensed on any of my ps4 accounts anyway so unfortunately um I, i'm just don't i just don't have the license to be able to run pt but if you do have the license on your ps5 somehow for pt then it would actually allow it to run now uh, bypassing that error message so yeah so that's essentially how you do that guys you can just download the one from jose gonzalez which already has all of the ps4 titles added back into the list and then copy that list over to that same location that i showed you and then all PS4 apps that previously said that they were not compatible with the PS5 will be runnable on the PS5, obviously providing you have the license file to run it. So that's essentially how you can get PT to run and pretty much any PS4 app that is not on the whitelist. Just add it to the whitelist yourself, upload the file, and then you can, you can attempt to run any PS4 app on the PS5 itself. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video or found the information useful. I'm still bringing out new videos on the PS5 all the time. Honestly, the stuff is coming out quicker than I can actually upload videos for. So uh, yeah, I'm sure things will slow down eventually. But hey, once the full jailbreak comes out, you know, things are going to really pop off. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll hopefully see you guys in the next one.